How to spice up your relationship. Keeping your relationship fresh is hard work. Though you may be more in love with your honey than ever, you have to make an effort to keep your connection and your sex life from growing stale. If you want to know how to spice up your relationship, just follow these easy tips. Being more adventurous. Make love in new positions. Though you may have gotten nice and comfortable in the missionary position, it may be time for some changes in the bedroom. Having sex the same old way can make it feel like a routine, and the more you mix things up, the more likely you'll be to want to get it on more often. Here are some things you can do. Reverse roles. This may feel funny at first, but you'll love it. If you're always on top and your honey is on the bottom, switch it up. You'll be more turned on by the change. When you make love, make a goal of not having sex in your usual position at all. Find a completely new way to be turned on. Don't be afraid to try completely new positions. Look up positions on the internet, read the Karma Sutra, or if you're bold, ask your best friend for love making position tips. Be more flexible. Take a yoga class together, or go for a run together and work on stretching before and after. Preparing your bodies to be more flexible when you're in the sack. If you learn to do a split, you can use it to your advantage in the bedroom. If you're a girl, try to get flexible enough to wrap your legs around your partner's head when he's on top. Make love standing up, or with the person on top standing up. And don't be afraid to try a little pre-sex oral sex on your partner when he or she is standing up. Make love when one person is seated on a coach while the other is on top of him or her. Be adventurous in your positions, but don't do anything you're not comfortable with. Both partners have to be committed to trying new things or your sex may get unpleasant. Get it on in new places. Having sex in new positions can work wonders for your sex life. Having sex in new positions in a new place will spice up your relationship astronomically. A new place can be anything from a new corner of your bedroom to a hotel or even a camping tent. Here are some things to try. Check into a hotel to make love. The hotel doesn't have to be in an exotic location, it could be just a few blocks from your home. You'll feel sexy for checking in for such an obvious purpose. Don't even pack your bags if you're close to home. That will make it even more obvious that you're there for one reason. Take a hot vacation. Plan a trip to a romantic island or beach. Pick a place where there's not much to do but lounge on the beach and indulge in each other. If you're too busy sightseeing, you won't have time to set your sights on your lovemaking. Having sex in your car may sound uncomfortable, but it can be pretty hot, too. Having sex in public can get you in a lot of trouble, so only do it if you're in a place that is completely secluded, where there's no chance you'll be caught. Have sex somewhere where you can get caught. Though this is inadvisable for many reasons, but if you're really feeling kinky, get it on somewhere where you can get in trouble, like a friend's house, or in your own home while people are over. Have sex in a new part of your pad. Vow not to have sex in your bed for a week or two, or even a month. Try your kitchen counter, your shower, or even your favorite chair. Get it on on your couch. Your couch isn't just for being lazy and channel surfing. Go to a sex or lingerie store together. Don't be embarrassed about taking this trip. Lots of couples do it together all the time, and you'll be turned on by buying things you'll use or wear in the bedroom. Dress up when you go to the store. Hold hands. Giggle. It may feel a little silly, but it's also hot. Buy some hot lingerie. If you're female, but some lacy bras and panties, thongs, garters, fishnet stockings, or corsets. Don't be afraid to buy something that is completely over the top or doesn't feel like you. That's what being adventurous is all about. But some scented candles, sexy oils, and sexy lotions. You can light the candles and massage the oil and lotion into each other to get ready to get it on. Pick up some sex toys. Buy some whips, handcuffs, or whatever else floats your boat. They're not guaranteed to work, but try them on for size. Just buying them together will already spice up your relationship. Role play. You need to spice up your relationship because you're feeling that you've fallen into the same roles day after day. What better way to spice up your relationship than some lighthearted, fun role playing? This will require you to take some risks, but the rewards will be worth it. The next time you make love, try out one of these scenarios. Pretend that you've gotten in a big fight. Get really heated. Yell and throw things around. Then have some hot makeup sex. If you're a girl, pretend that your boyfriend or husband is knocking on the door to repair a leak, ask you to sign a bill, or just because he's lost and needs directions. Invite him to come in for a drink, and take it from there. Try on some outfits from the sex store. There will be plenty of ideas to get your imagination going, whether you're dressing up as a police officer, princess, or sex kitten. Tell your partner your favorite role-play fantasy, no matter how ridiculous it may be. Then go for it. Try something new together. Being adventurous isn't all about having sex in adventurous ways. You and your honey can improve your relationship by stepping out of your comfort zones and trying something wild and new together. Here are some things you can try. Do something crazy outdoors. Go zip lining, bungee jumping, or skydiving. This will make you feel exhilarated and will bring you closer together. Travel to a completely exotic location. This could mean Singapore or Argentina.
Go to a place that is completely foreign to you together. Take up a new exciting hobby. This could be mountain biking or karate. Just pick something both of you have never done before and stick to it. You'll be learning something new and will be spending more time together in the process. Eat foods you've never had before. Make a point of going to a restaurant that serves cuisine you've never had before at least once or twice a month. You'll be treating your taste buds while making more time for conversation. 